Okay, I hope I'm not holding you too long, but but but, but now I'm now, just going to try to finish in terms of the BAI stuff, you know. Okay, please. Yeah. So 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 now now you you have to you have to, the late seventies now you're saying late seventies into the early eighties. Okay, because it is I guess um, you know when we hit 1980, uh, 1981, I approached Samori by that time. Eighty one is the program director at WBAI. In 81, I approached him with the idea of having a John Coltrane day on WBAI. Hold on, let's, let's go back just a, just a bit. By that time, BAI had, had, was out of the church, and now they were at 505, yes? When, when did, do you know anything about that movie? Yeah, they were at 505. They were at 505, eight, that. Right. So, so, when, yeah. so, so when Samori came and Valerie came, that was all at 505. Uh, I believe so. I don't know the exact year when Valerie came. Uh, no, no, you know, no. I, I knew Valerie, you know, Peninsula from, you know, her being active in activism. And, you know, I remember, you know, we would have demonstrations in Washington, D.C. or whatever, you know. And, and of course, media, I think uh, I understood the importance of media, having done print media in terms of black news, having written articles for, you know, all of these newspapers and other publications, uh, having been on radio and seeing the impact that radio could have. You know, I was kind yeah. of aware of all of that. No, no, the, the reason why I'm trying to frame this time frame because at the time, at, well, I got out of service in at 74, 74 to 76, I was at Livingston College. And uh, part of Rutgers University, uh, um, in down, down there was Piscataway, New Jersey, but you know, basically New Brunswick, New Jersey. And Pepsi Charles was my English teacher, and A.B. Okay. Spellman was in the English department. The, Tony Morrison was the English department. Anyway, Pepsi had a program at BAI, and I went up there because she had um, uh, Mrs. The, the widow of County Collins, and I was I'm, I was a heavy County Collins, you know, like the rain and whole thing. So. Because I was one of her students, she invited me up, and I went up, and that was at the church. So that was like the mid seventies. It was BAI was still at the church. So when uh -huh. so, then so B so uh, Pepsi obviously made the move with uh, two five oh five also because I said so it must have been the late seventies, and there must be some upheaval with with with, with, with Pablo and it was just like seventy seven. There was some weird thing happened. So I, I know there was some some stuff happening. So so okay. So anyway, now we're in the eighties. I'm sorry, I just had to throw that yeah, in there because I'm just trying to figure. There was a thing with. Pablo, because at one point Pablo is made what the program director. Yeah. You know, and he's there for a while, but it doesn't it doesn't work. You know, Pablo went to Bronx High School of Science. He came after me. Yeah. He was when he was in Bronx High School of Science, and I remember this clearly because you know one of the one of the brothers who came in after me, uh, his name is Lionel. He, he ended up working for CBS. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Pablo in in high school was Paul Guzman. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. just like Harold Rivera yeah. was Jerry Rivera. Jerry, yeah, I got you. But you know, it's interesting. You brought high school science thing. So you're there. Be you're there between. So before you, we got Stokely Carmichael. Then we have you. Then we have Pablo. When was when was Neil deGrasse Tyson there? <laughs> he's got to be after. I mean, he's got to be long after. I don't know when, mm -hmm. but long after. Okay. You know, all, uh, all you Bronx geniuses. Yeah, I, I, I knew uh, a cousin of his. You know, it's quite interesting because, you know, we have to talk about, in regards to this stuff, you know, we have to talk about black and Latino right. excellence, you know, academic excellence. Yeah. You know, the fact that we were smarter than everybody. We were literally smarter than all of these folks. Yeah. You know. They could go ahead and do and say whatever, but that was the reality. We were smarter than these people were. Because the, the Bronx, know, the, stand it. but the Bronx had the people. That's the point. And at that time, we were pretty well magnet schools. In other words, you went to Bronx High School of Science because you was from the Bronx. That's the whole point. Or at least, but, you know, people came from all over because it was at the time that we were there. Bronx High School of Science was the number one yeah. high school in New York. Be before. It's not like Stuyvesant. Yeah. You know, Stuyvesant didn't become the number one high school until they built it, you know, that new building over at Battery Park City. Mm. Okay. okay? Uh -huh. yeah. okay. When it started attracting all different kinds of other folks. And then, you know, I mean, you've got all these other things happening, including Asians, etc. Let me just 
take a couple more minutes because I'll have to go. Okay, I good. I'm sure sorry. I, 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 I won't interrupt then, you. you know, maybe yeah. we can talk again. Okay. But anyway, uh, I have a conversation with Tamar and say, listen, you know, we need to do something for John Coltrane. You know, we've got this and we can put together a program where we can have live music, we can have interviews, conversation, and we will bring music that for the most part people have not heard and has not been played on radio. So we have a John Coltrane day and I think it, it ends up being October 1981 because the folio, the folio is, the cover of the folio is this great, great uh, drawing of John Coltrane that Tamori had done. Uh, you open it up and we have uh, an essay that we wrote, myself, two of my partners mm -hmm. and the schedule of the programming. We had interviews with uh, Amiri Baraka, Paul Blackburn. We had um, Talik Abdul Al-Raouf bring a group and play live music. And we have all these recordings and everything else. It's interesting. We do the program. You know, the music is so powerful that we get knocked off the air. Uh, what, what do you mean you by know? that? How is it, what do you mean you get knocked off the air? In other words, uh, whether the transmitter went down, <laughs> something goes down in the middle of the broadcast. <laughs> wow. See, well, well, again, RVR had gone away by then, so there was no RVR, so they couldn't have sabotaged you. So no, no, it wasn't did, 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 like did that. The and, I mean, the only, the only <laughs> people who were doing something like that where they would have a day or longer to, to go ahead and, and, and deal with specific artists was uh, WKCR. Yeah, Columbia. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we did that eighty one. Later that year, I think I, I did a program on Eric Dolphy. You know, similar but shorter. Mm. You know, focusing more on the music. You know, I remember the Eric. You know, I know the Eric Dolphy artist. one. I know the Eric Dolphy one because I was heavy into Eric Dolphy. I, I don't know why I was just heavy into Eric Dolphy, and uh, so I, I think I remember that because I was back in New York by then. Yeah. And, you know, I'll pull out because we did flyers and various things in regards to this. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's the history, of course, that some of the current, you know, WBAI uh, people need to go ahead and know and understand, you know, because, um, you know, I, I don't think they have a clue. You know, it's it's difficult. Anything. There's no they see. The, uh, I'm not going to get into the politics of it all, but the problem right now we have right now. There's no more community radio and community radio, especially at BAI. It's as simple as that. There's and no, that's, there's no that's, people can't people talk to each raising, other. That's what people are raising, and you know I think it's going to come to a head pretty short. No, but see, people can't talk to. There's no way you can talk. I'm talking about naturally talk to each other. There's no common whatever. There's no commons. No, you know? it's not. So, so you're, you're in not isolation. Yeah, let me put it. We, we, we were COVIDed before COVID. That's the point, you know? <laughs> That's all I can say, you know? So anyway, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh oh I, I lost you, Basir? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Now, so so anyway, um, uh, so uh, did, did you want to... Cause these are, yeah, we have to talk again some other time. So, so you're there with the jazz. You, um, the, it's forming. The basically the a, the BAI of the '80s into the '90s is forming, or BAI of the '80s is forming right now. '80s, yeah. Because this is the early '80s. Like yeah. I said, those programs were like '81. Uh, yeah, you know. And again, I mean, I didn't want to be involved in any regular basis in terms of doing any radio at that time. I would just go ahead and do these specials. Yeah. You know, I would produce these special, and that was it. Because you're still at and the in east. terms of you know education at the crossroads. Mm -hmm. This happens in '96. I'm approached by Samori about doing an education program. Mm. You know, he approached me. I once again, I didn't necessarily want to go. Was it was it was it late? Was it down? What is it? At latest '96. Is it latest '96? 96 is education at the crossroads. That's when education okay. at the crossroads right. comes. Okay, all right. I'm not going to argue. Yeah. That's when I left the station. I left the station in 96, so I was just trying to figure out how did you know that before that? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So we come in, in November 96, actually. Uh, okay, but fine. earlier, I, I can't remember when we started having discussions because uh, I was at that particular point the founder of Ujima Institute, which was not far from Junior's Restaurant. And what I would do is, Samori and I, we would meet at Junior's. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. And we would sit down and we would talk about the station. We talk about politics. And, you know, he put to me this idea in regards to coming up with an education program. Mm-hmm. And the process was, and this is something I raised because there was uh, an LSB report, uh, you know, that would they do monthly or whatever. And in my report, I laid out what the process had been for getting a program previously. The LSB meaning local you, station board. We have to be clear local with Local station board, yeah. right, right. So the process back in the day was you made a proposal and you did a trial program. Yeah. And then the people saw how it worked and evaluated it and, you know, would critique it or whatever, and then you would see if you would have a program. Mm-hmm. That's how programs used to start. And now, of course, who the hell knows what the process is? Or is there a process? Well, Ridiculous. Um, just, uh, let's leave the politics. So let's, let's, let's leave it there for now, you know? Yeah, like I said, I want to get into the politics of, 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 of current politics, but, you know, Things happen the way they, I like I always like to say, things happen the way they're supposed to happen. That's all I know. Yeah. You know? Listen, I got to make a move, man. All right. Thanks, Monsieur. I'll talk to you another time. I'll be in New York next week, so we'll see what happens. All right. All right. Well, thanks so for next this. week, you mean the following week. You mean not the week coming, but the next week. Yeah, this I, 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 I get on the train on Thursday morning. I should be in New York okay. by Friday morning or something like that. And I'll be there all for right. a couple of weeks. So we'll touch base. Okay. All right, man. All right, brother. I'll talk to you. All right. Later.